Well, hey there, friends. Uh, I haven't vlogged and driven in months, more than months, like since last summer. So I have, it's been a while, and I felt like, hey, maybe I should do this. Um, who knows if I'll like any of it. I may end up throwing all of this out and not doing anything with it. But, oh, hey, I have eyes. Yeah, I'm not driving into the sun right now, so I don't really need those. I just like the way they look. There's a topic that's been simmering in my brain for a little bit recently, and that's what I like to refer to as comment section regret. Because I'm the kind of person that after I watch or read something, I like to react to it, and I like to see how other people reacted to it, and therefore, I always scroll down to the comments thinking, surely I'll get something out of this, or it'll be really interesting to hear what other people thought about this. I know what I think, but I wonder what other people thought, and I wonder if other people's thoughts will help my thoughts become more well-rounded. And unfortunately, <laughs> Recently, I've regretted almost every single time I've gone and looked down in the comments because it's just a whole lot of ugliness down there. It's terrible. It's like, it's anger and yelling through typed words and people being insulting simply because they can be and people not actually listening to each other and not, ugh, it hurts. It hurts me deep in my soul. It always happens where I'll read the first comment and sometimes it'll be good and I'll be like, oh, this is great, I feel encouraged. And then as I read the next few, like slowly my stomach just starts sinking and I get that feeling of like, oh, it's happening again. And I know what's coming. I know that someone's gonna say something awful to somebody else and they're going to get in an argument. And for some reason, I'm gonna sit there and read it even though it makes my head go I don't know what that was, but like, that's, you know, it's that bad. The thing that gets me the most is how when people start to attack each other in these comments, it always goes past attacking each other's ideas. It's never just discussion or like a trading of ideas or even like argument, arguing ideas. It's like, it instantly becomes like an attack on the other person as an individual and as a human being and as like, as a person. And it just gets so ugly. They make these these terrible assumptions about each other of like, oh, you think this, and that obviously means that you're this kind of person. And well, that's a pretty terrible thing. And I'm obviously better than you because I'm this kind of person. And since you're definitely that kind of person, well, you're probably pretty worthless, aren't you? Like, ugh. But I can't take that. Huh. There is one exception to this phenomena, and that is actually on YouTube, the PBS Idea Channel. Oh my gosh! I love it so much. They just, they make me happy because the people in the comments are really there to consider ideas and to discuss and to listen to each other and ruminate on each other's ideas. And it's beautiful in that comment section. It's like, it's beautiful. It just, it warms me down to my little tippy toes. Yeah. And I tend to avoid commenting on things online unless I really feel like what I have to say is very well worded in my head and can't be like yelled at by someone else, you know, that that got all my bases covered and that it's not argumentative. And yeah, um, every once in a while I break down and I write a comment, and, but most of the time I try to refrain unless I feel very, very good about what I'm writing um, because I do tend to get a little snarky and people can take me the wrong way sometimes. And I just don't want to get into it with people online. It's just like comment sections in videos. There's a line in Hairspray, the musical Hairspray, that I think fits comment sections online very well. And that is 
that if you're going to go look down in the comment sections, you best prepare yourself for a whole lot of ugly coming from a never-ending parade of stupid. You know? And I think that a lot of smart people make stupid comments on things online. Most of the time I think it's just people getting fired up and like shooting off their mouths without really formulating how they're saying what they're saying. So to sum that up, every time recently that I've gone and looked at a comment section outside of the Idea channel on YouTube, I've found myself going, why? Why did I do that? What was I thinking? How could I possibly have thought that there would be a worthwhile outcome to this? An outcome which left me feeling like fulfilled or feeling like my thought process has been challenged in a positive way? No, no, it never happens. And I think that at this point, I need to just start learning from my mistakes. And you know, the whole thing about the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But I just keep hoping, you know? I'm a naturally hopeful person. And so I just keep hoping that every once in a while I'll have a positive comment perusal experience. They're just so rare, and it makes me sad. Most of the time, I'm like kicking myself and going, ah, I just got more cynical, why? Why can't people be nice to each other? And just, you know, respecting each other and listening to each other's ideas it doesn't seem that difficult a thing to do. Apparently it is. Ugh. Well, my darling friends, my arm is aching. So I guess that means it's time for me to go. I love you all like I love a full tank of gas, especially one bought by somebody else. You can comment on my thoughts about comments. You can leave me a thumbs up if you agree. You can leave me a thumbs down, I guess, if you think that comment sections are the greatest thing ever. They're a great idea. People don't always treat great ideas very well. That could be a whole nother video. Maybe you'll see that video someday. I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm. Yes. And I shall continue on my drive, and I'll see you all next time. Mwah. Bye.